Speaking at a, a wedding there during the week, nights of Laura and Liam with us there tonight, and I uh, was given a little thought at that, and I just thought it was a lovely little thought for tonight because it not only sums up a wedding day, but it sums up Christmas time, and it sums up every time. And it's the little verse I took from uh, 1 Corinthians 13, it's the portion all about love, but there in verse 13 it says, and now abideth faith, hope, and love these three, but the greatest of these is love. Sometimes we sing a little carol here and it just says, love came down at Christmas. Love all lovely, love divine. And you know, God is love. And that's the wonderful thing about it. And one of the best known verses that I'm sure we all know tonight is John 3:16, And we could probably all say it. It says, for God so loved the world. Oh, you're all going to say it with me? Oh, very good. After two then. One, two. The Bible says in John chapter 3 and verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Very good. Very good. And do you know, boys and girls and mums and dads tonight, that sums up it all. That's one of the greatest verses that we can know and love. And that's really what Christmas time is all about. We read, we, we, we look tonight and we were re read to us and showed to us that the Lord Jesus Christ came. But the reason why Christ came was he came to go the whole way to the cross of Calvary. And he came to die for your sin. And he came to die for my sin. And the three little words that we can look at here very, very quickly tonight, just in closing... The first one is faith. And as I said there on Friday, one thing that we all need is faith or trust. The Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. And it's lovely to see people who have faith, who have a faith in God, and who have a wonderful trust in God. Now, when you come in tonight, as I told them on Friday, not one of you, hands up who checked the chair before they sat down. Aaron, no, you didn't, because I saw you sitting down. You know, nobody checked the chair. You had faith to believe that that chair was going to hold you up. And your faith was rewarded, wasn't it? The chair kept you up. And that's really what faith is about. It's a belief, it's a trust that God is going to do what he says he does. And that he gave his son 
the Lord Jesus Christ to go all the way to Calvary to die for us. And you know, folks, faith is something that's very, very personal. Faith is something that you have. And it's a personal faith and a personal trust in the Lord Jesus Christ as your own and personal saviour. That's why we read this morning and, and we read over this Christmas time, it says, call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. So we have faith. The second word I want to look at tonight is hope. And it's important in our lives that we have hope. And you know, once we're saved, the wonderful thing is that we have a great hope. And there's two ways we can have hope. The first little way that we can have hope is a hope of happiness here and now. And I trust, folks, we are happy. We're happy in our Christian life. And we're happy in our Christian experience. Because that's what we should be. We should be happy here and we should be happy now. God says in his word, I will never leave you and I will not forsake you. And God says in his word, my times, our times, that they're in his wonderful hands. And that's why, folks, boys and girls and moms and dads, that's why we can be happy here and now. But you not only have a hope for the here and now, but we have a tremendous hope for the future. And I trust you have a hope for the future. And that's why Christ came. He came not only to give us happiness here and now once we trust him, but he came to give us a wonderful future. I quoted those verses this morning from John 14. And I quote them again tonight. It says, for God so loved the world, or sorry, for God, what is it? John 14, in my father's house. Sorry, I'm getting mixed up here. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And that place is heaven. And if I go and prepare a place for you, he said he's coming back. You know, maybe before this year ends, he might come back. Maybe next year he might come back. We don't know. But it's good to be ready. And it's good to know where you're going in the future. In my father's house, there are many mansions. And he's gone to prepare a place. That's the great hope. We have a hope here and now. And then we have a tremendous hope for the future. And then the last one is love. And you know, there's so many different things we can say regarding love. You know, this time of the year, it's, there's great expressions of love. Now, many people will think, well, it's how big a Christmas present my wife has bought me. Isn't that right? Not what I buy her. Now, she knows well that that doesn't work out. But I always like to see what she buys me. Because that shows how much she loves me. So I'll probably get very little this year after this. That'll be my mother. But you know, can I say, when we're talking about love here, we talked about showing out love. And one of the things I looked at was love is kind. And I'm not going to be long tonight because that's what I want to finish with. Love is kind. Show out kindness. Show out the beauty of the Lord Jesus Christ in your life each and every day. Do a kind act to someone. I was speaking to somebody recently and they said they got a lovely card and a present in the post from someone who they did a kind act towards. And you know, how do we show out our Christian love? We do it by showing kind acts to one another. We live it out in our daily lives. So we have faith, which is important for each and every one of us. We have a hope that's not only for here and now for the future, but we show out love in our lives each and every day. Someone once said that faith gives way to sight. One day we will see the Lord. Hope gives way to reality. One day we'll be with the Lord. And love, it never changes. Love remains the same. So I so hope you have a faith, even over this Christmas period, on into the new year. You have a hope that's real. And then, thirdly, you have that tremendous love within your heart. Live out each and every day.